93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level, on the go. A petition to cancel it. With your Alexa Flash Briefing, I'm Kurt Darling. The Fairgrounds Fun Park has been advertised as a smaller alternative to the now canceled Indiana State Fair. Now, an online petition is seeking to cancel the fun park. I was mystified because the original State Fair had been canceled um, basically because of coronavirus, and yet we had received news that there was going to be another fair. Jody Madeira, an IU law professor who started the petition, talking to Wish TV, she says the event could be a super spreader of coronavirus and could cause a big surge in corona cases in Indiana. Marion County becoming the fourth in Indiana to require you to wear a mask if you go out. Eric Berman reports. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett says Indy required masks in the flu pandemic a century ago, and the death rate was 0.3%. The county's coronavirus death rate right now is 20 times that. It's a piece of cloth that could save your life. Marion County Health Director Virginia Kane says Indiana's infections have gone up 2% in the last two weeks. Eric Berman, 93 WIBC Mobile News. Secret Service agents who helped prepare for Vice President Mike Pence's trip to Arizona this week are suspected to be sick with coronavirus. The Washington Post reporting at least one agent tested positive ahead of Pence's trip and several others were showing signs of the respiratory illness. A maintenance worker killed on the Indiana tow road in St. Joseph County. Ashley Fowler reports. Ronald Smith was in front of his truck sweeping up debris Thursday afternoon when an SUV sideswiped his truck and hit him. The SUV then rolled over in a ditch. The driver and passenger in the SUV were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Ashley Fowler, 93 WIBC Mobile News. Senator Todd Young still pushing his Restart Act to help small businesses. This new Restart program provides loans covering up to six months of payroll and fixed operating expenses like rent for businesses that have taken a substantial revenue hit during this pandemic. He says fireworks stores are an example of businesses struggling right now, even during the 4th of July holiday. Stock cars will be turning laps on the road course at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway today. Xfinity Series drivers preparing for the Pennzoil 150 set to happen tomorrow after IndyCar drivers compete in the GMR Grand Prix. Xfinity Series driver Justin Allgaier hoping to be the first stock car driver to win on the road course. To win the first one, right, of, of any event is, is always a big deal. I think that's always super important. I think a lot of the drivers, a lot of the teams really put a lot of pressure on themselves to, to be able to do that. NASCAR normally not allowing drivers to practice before a race right now because of the pandemic, but it's a new track to the series, and thus NASCAR feels it warrants some practice time. WYBC's flash briefings are updated throughout the day, so you can always check for the latest local news. You can also rejoin us in the car at 93.1 FM to stay on top of the latest traffic alerts, weather, and news. I'm Kurt Darling on the level, on the go, and on Twitter at 93 WYBC and WYBC.com.